and we've got news that's coming in from Jammu and Kashmir. This was a nocturnal operation where one army jawan was martyred and three Jaish e Mohammed terrorists were killed in an encounter that uh, ensued between terrorists and forces in Pulwama's Zadura village. Uh, and of course, uh, that is uh, the uh, details that are coming in. Uh, forces managed to kill three Jaish e Mohammed terrorists, but one army jawan got martyred in the process. Uh, Farid joining us for more details. Farid, what can you tell us about this particular operation uh, where three terrorists were uh, gunned down, but uh, one army jawan also being martyred? Uh, yes, uh, uh, if you remember, this is the second operation in South Kashmir in the last 12 hours uh, uh, earlier in Shopian. Four uh, militants of Al Badr were killed and one was arrested. In fact, he surrendered. And now, just barely a few hours after that, in a nocturnal operation in uh, uh, in, in a village of uh, Pulwama, three Jaish e Mohammed militants have been killed, as you rightly said, and uh, some arms and ammunition has been recovered. Army has also suffered loss in this one soldier who was critically wounded in the exchange of fire uh, and was taken to the hospital has succumbed to his injury. So army has lost a soldier in the operation. Still ongoing, though we've been told that just two, uh, just uh, three militants were there. But as uh, the part of the SOP, they'll continue the search uh, effort in the area. Uh, so that really is what has happened. Uh, in fact, in the last uh, 12 hours, seven militants have been killed in South Kashmir, in uh, Shopian and Pulwama districts, and uh, one. Uh, has surrendered. Yesterday, uh, the police claimed that uh, two of uh, the four killed in Chopin were involved in the abduction and killing of a BJP punch. Uh, so they they believe that that case has been solved, though the bigger threat remains. Uh, but just barely a few hours after that, another operation in Pulwama where uh, these casualties uh, and uh, these, these militants have been killed. All from Jash, most probably locals. Uh, but in some time, we'll get to know uh, their identities and whether uh, any of them was a top commander or was important as far as uh, Jay Shahar is concerned. Back to you, Avni. All right, uh, Farid, thank you so much for joining us with uh, all of those details.